I'm Brett Greenstein. I'm the Vice President for Watson IoT's consumer business, and I get to work on bringing Watson AI, cognitive technologies, and IoT into the companies who serve all of us every day. Automakers, hotels, telcos, everyone who brings things to regular consumers. It's clearly come from user engagement. I think what the Internet of Things really brought to all of us was the potential that all these connected things could now engage with us in new ways. Some of them are displays that might present new information, certainly voice interfaces that uh, leverage Watson uh, to be able to better understand us. And of course, all of this about how each of those companies can better serve us through direct interaction. I think there's no question everyone needs to become essential every single day with their users. So the idea that we used to sell products in the past and let those products go to customers and then they just use it on their own, that was fine, maybe you could do customer surveys. But in the world of tomorrow, every one of us has to look at our products as how they engage and become essential to people's daily lives. That is going to establish a relationship, a new levels of insights so you can deliver more value. Uh, it's changed it completely. We've moved from building products that you hunker down, sit down, build it, and then ship it and hope it all works to live A-B testing of functionality directly with users. We are as agile and iterative, I think, as a company could be. And we've also begun doing much more smaller, powerful engagements with customers to build out, to prove, to learn directly with users, and then enhance and improve over time. So I feel like the entire rhythm of how we build and create value has changed. So today, each of us might have one or two connected things in our homes, maybe some of us a few more if you're a little geekier, um, but that's going to move very, very fast, and we're going to look down at our homes and realize 10, 20 things in our lives are connected, whether it's cars or appliances or other things, and suddenly new services will emerge from that. So two years from now, we're going to be looking at mainstream companies providing services for aging in place and for taking care of our families and watching our pets. We're going to have convenience features we never imagined before. And it's going to be built into the stuff we naturally buy anyway. And so I think the, the difference is going out of your way to adopt IoT versus embracing the new products that are engaging with us and connected. I think the most exciting thing is really not so much the products. As the connectivity gets pushed into everything, it's really going to be much more around the cloud services and the understanding of users. One of the things we're working on a lot is how to identify moments in people's lives when it's valuable to present information or engage with them. So having assistants in your life, and we'll all have many of them, need to know when the right time to engage is, what the right information is, to tell us things that are useful in that moment. So capturing moments, learning about us, being proactive, this is what's next in personal assistance. I think all of us have emphasized the devices and the value of cool connected things. But I think it's time to focus more on the human experience and to put more emphasis on how conversational interfaces, how building of understanding of people is changing the way we live. I think the idea, for example, that I might keep an eye on my parents as they get older, naturally through systems that they might engage with and I can engage with, is kind of life changing. It might allow them to live in their home longer. It might allow all of us to be less stressed in our lives. I think we should focus on that experience change that's occurring and what, that, what connected things in IoT are enabling for all of us. I think for each of us, as we bring AI and voice systems and IoT into our lives, I think it's time for us to expect a lot more on privacy and data security. We are certainly bringing in technologies that help us live better, but that comes with a lot of data about each of us. And I think we need to expect companies to embrace privacy, to not market our data, to help companies better secure what they're, what they're learning about us so they can deliver value in a way that is not a risk for us individually. And I think that's something we focus on a lot in IBM and many of our enterprise customers are focusing on as well as they reach their consumers.